Hello, 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 my fellow mathletes. We're looking at question 15 on the uh, grade 11 multiple choice Fermat paper. If x minus 4 times 5x plus 2 is equal to 0, then the two possible values of 5x plus 2 are... All right, so I'm going to copy down this equation here. x minus 4, 5x plus 2 equals 0. Now you could very quickly read off your different values of x from here. x is 4, x is negative 2 fifths. Those would be fine things to do. And then you could plug them into the 5x plus 2 and get the two possible values. Or you could make the connection that 5x plus 2 is one of the factors. So in order for a statement like this to be true, in fact, for any a times b equal to 0, you either have a is 0 or you have b is 0, possibly both. So this tells us x minus 4 is 0, or 5x plus 2 is 0. So one of the values for 5x plus 2 has got to be 0. I'm going to take a look here. Three of the possibilities have zeros. So I know a is out, and I know e is out, and that's we're getting close to where you might make a guess if they called time on you. And, you know, maybe it's taking you a while to do to, to finish the contest, and, and you, you've only made it to 15. That's perfectly fine. We need to be ready to guess at just about any stage. Okay. So that's all well and good. So, so 0 is one of them. And now this one here, x minus 4 is equal to 0, that's just x equals 4. So in this case, 5x plus 2 is 5 times 4 plus 2, 22. So 22 and 0 are the two possible values. And that's C right in the middle, just like the last question with the, the lioness. Fantastic. So we cast our eyes forward to question 16, but we'll take a look at that next time. Thanks for watching.